guys, I'm so excited about today's video. It's gonna be all about homemaking hacks. If you are new to my channel, my name is Alana and my channel is all about marriage, homemaking, healthy living, and homeschooling and I would love for you to subscribe. So my first homemaking hack is all about lists. Guys, lists are amazing. Lists get all the craziness that's going on in your head out of your head and on paper. Let the paper handle it so that you can be at peace and restful and present. It is so helpful to me to write down what I need to do each day. In fact, I plan my whole week on Sundays. Every Sunday, I just sit down, I get my phone, I use the notes app, and I just say Mon Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I just write or type under each day what I need to get done on that day. This helps me not procrastinate because I know what's what I've gotta get done before the end of the week. And it helps me to balance my week out so that I fit all the things that are important to me in. One being exercise, another being homeschooling, another being groceries and errands, another being free time for my family and for ministry. And then I want home days as well as activities out of the home so that my kids can see friends. So I really like looking ahead and planning my week. And then of course, being prepared for things to not go exactly how they're written down because life happens, you guys. And those are the opportunities to practice trust in the Lord <laughs> and just be at peace in your soul knowing that ultimately he's in control whether we have lists or not. Another thing that lists help me do is to take one day at a time and not be overwhelmed by the week. I've already written it all down, I've got a plan, I know what's ahead, but I don't need to worry about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I just wanna focus on today. So for each current day, I'll write a little list on my dry erase board on my fridge and just cross it out as the day goes by. So, so far today, I had workout on there. I already worked out this morning. It's off the list. I've started laundry. I also need to go buy dog food and chicken feed and I've got homeschool crew at the library at two. So those are the things I've gotta get done today and I'm gonna get them done because it's only like five or six things. That also leaves me with plenty of time for homeschooling this morning, plenty of time to sit and snuggle and talk to my children and if anything pops up that my husband needs me to do or someone at church has a need, I am freed up to be able to go and serve. It's also very important to me to have at least one or two home days to make sure that I don't fall behind on housework. And of course, our schedules are going to look very different from each other's. Everybody's will because we all have different lives and different priorities. So the main thing is look at your life, think about what you wanna make sure you have time for every week and plan accordingly. My next homemaking hack is tidy up your kitchen after every meal. Imagine if you let this accumulate after breakfast to only <laughs> still find it there when you walk into the kitchen to get lunch prepared and then let more accumulate to find it again when it's time to prepare dinner. I cannot do that. There is nothing more stressful than needing to prepare a meal and walking into a messy, disorganized, dirty dish kitchen. So we're done with breakfast and this is all going to be washed now so that when it's time to make lunch, I come into a nice clean kitchen. So as far as getting the kitchen tidy and cleaned up after every meal in preparation for next time you've got to be in here working. There are some exceptions. One of them is when you've got pots or pans that have a bunch of sticky food on the bottom that won't budge. Instead of fighting with that pot and pan for 10 minutes, just soak, let it soak. I fill it up with hot water and soap and leave it there for an hour or two. And by the time it's you come back, it just wipes right off. Sometimes a Brillo pad will be needed, but um, for the most part, it just slides right off. While we're still in the kitchen, let's cover two more hacks. I am sure most of you know this, but some of you may not. So here is something that can make your cooking a lot easier. When you're cooking on a cookie sheet or even a casserole dish, whatever you're gonna be popping into the oven, line it with parchment paper or aluminum. Lining your cookie sheet or your casserole dish with parchment paper or aluminum foil won't mean that you won't have to wash it. Sometimes the oil makes its way down to the pan anyway, but at least it won't be crusty and you won't have to scrub. The most you'll have to do is get nice sudsy water on there to cut the grease, clean it off much easier than if you were to 
uh, roast things directly onto the pan. So parchment paper and something else. Clean up after yourself while you're in the kitchen. Once you line that pan with this parchment paper, don't just put this on the counter and leave it there to start clutter and accumulation of stuff while you're cooking. Put it back where you got it from so that that's one less thing you've got to do after the meal is starting to cook. Clean as you go, if at all possible. That goes for the rest of the house as well. Maintain your home by putting things away after you use them. Don't just leave them laying around so that by the end of the day, stuff is everywhere. Train your children in this as well. I know that's like, what? It could be very hard. <laughs> and trust me, I am not saying, let's be Nazi moms. There is a way to do this without being a Nazi mom. I will always tell you to choose peace and joy and a loving atmosphere in your home before tidiness but we can teach tidiness. Also, let's lower our standards. We may have to help. My kids are seven and eight and they are both boys. I cannot just say, go clean the playroom and expect them to be focused on cleaning that playroom the way I want it cleaned. I need to come over here and help them. So be prepared to help, be prepared to be patient, be pre prepared to take longer, but know that you are building a good foundation, teaching them good habits. Something I like to do, throughout the day is just take a little stroll around the house and collect things that are out of place and I go and put them where they belong. So maybe two or three times a day I do that. I also like at the end of the day when everybody's ready for bed, no one else is gonna be coming out here moving things around just to make, make one more walk through and tidy up. If it's possible, I like to tidy up and make sure that everything is where it should be before I leave the house so that when I get home, things are in their place and I don't have to come home to immediately feeling overwhelmed. Something else that has made my life easier, don't know if it'll work for you, but we do not have a microwave. And so when we are done with meals, instead of transferring leftovers into Tupperware and washing those pots and pans to then only have to wash the Tupperware the next day when we eat the leftovers. We just put the pots and pans directly into the fridge with the leftovers so that when it's time to eat, we can just grab the pots and pans straight out of the fridge, put it on the stove and warm them up that way. Laundry hacks. I have set laundry days. I know that larger families may not be able <laughs> to have set laundry days. I think laundry day must be every day for families with four kids or more. But for us, I do laundry two days a week. I like to stay home on laundry day. I feel like I get all of it done sooner in the day versus starting in the morning, leaving, coming home to finish at midnight instead of doing it all back to back till it's done and then either have the freedom to leave at that point or just be home that day to make sure that it all gets done. And if I have time to fold it and put it away that day, that's a plus. One of the favorite things I have in place that makes my life so much easier when it's time to go grocery shopping, I don't have to sit down and make a long list. I have a pre-made always have list. And so I know what I always need to have at home. And so I just run down this list and whatever is missing or low, I jot it down and I've got my grocery list and it's super easy and saves me so much time. I hope you enjoyed this homemaking hacks video. I would love to hear which one you liked best and which one you think and hope will be most helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.